Hi, I'm Brian Talley. It's Monday, November 19th, 2018, Thanksgiving week. A couple of things I wanted to talk about, and then I'm going to do a market analysis overview quickly. But Frank Ward, my friend uh, from church, is running for city council, District 8. He's endorsed by my very own Austin Board of Realtors, the police, and the fire. Uh, he wants fiscal accountability and responsibility and just wants to make common sense decisions for our city. So I hope that you, if you're in District 8, will support and vote for Frank. Um, also just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for my family, my friends, and my clients, the people I work with at the Austin Board of Realtors, uh, at the city. Uh, just so thankful for the relationships that I have in my life, uh, the love that my family has for me, and uh, the opportunity to uh, spend time with people that uh, care for me and that encourage and support me. And uh, for all of those out here who are one of those people, uh, I love you and I thank you for that. So switching gears to our market update for November, which actually covers the October uh, 2018 time period. Um, it's been an interesting uh, period of time over the last month. Uh, the city of Austin has increased the median price to $377,000 uh, for single family home sales. There's been an 8% increase in the number of homes sold uh, average of 50 days on the market and only 2.1 months of inventory. So if inventory froze today, it would take about 2.1 months to sell all the inventory on the market. That's not a lot of inventory. It's normally an unbalanced market about six months. Uh, there's a 12% increase in the total dollar volume of single family homes sold. Um, so we've broken a record this year and that's just the city of Austin for the greater Austin area. The median sold price is 308,000 as opposed to 377,000 in the city limits of Austin. Um, in the greater Austin area, we have a 4% increase in solds, uh, 59 days on the market, and uh, a 9% increase in total dollar volume sold. That's $901 million of real estate sold in the greater Austin area in October. It's a big number in three months inventory. So the greater Austin area, of course, includes the city proper uh, and then the area around it as well. And uh, so that's the quick overview of the city of Austin and the greater Austin area. For luxury properties, I wanted to mention a couple of interesting numbers. Uh, in the Eanes School District, prices were flat. Their uh, median sold price is about 1.36 million or $335 per foot. However, there was a 57% reduction in the number of homes sold. So 21 luxury homes sold in October of 2017, only nine sold in October of 2018. And then a 51% increase in the days on market. So we have significant number of, home, of less homes sold and a significant increase in days on market, which is interesting. Uh, but in the Austin uh, school district, we actually had an improvement, an increase. So 44% increase in the number of homes sold. And these are luxury homes over a million dollars. A 15% decrease in price per square foot, a 3.5% increase in sold prices, and then a 21% decrease in the days on market. So pretty much across the board, prices were up except for price per foot. Uh, but the total dollar price was up by 3.5%. Uh, the price per foot was down by 15%, but that's because you know, the typical home that's being sold is a little bit smaller than the previous year. Uh, and then that 21% decrease in days on market, again, a lot of demand in, within the city limits. Uh, and then finally, late, the Lake Travis School District. Uh, sales were flat, basically. So nine luxury homes sold in 17, eight in 2018. Um, we had an 8.5% decrease in sold price per foot, a 4% decrease in sold price, and a 64% increase in the days on market. So both Eanes and the Lake Travis School Districts saw a slowdown in the number of homes sold and the price per, uh, the total price, whereas in the city of Austin proper, um, we had those increases. So anyway, I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, until next time.